Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Pivot Points. A pivot point is a point in space about which an object is rotated or scaled. Blender provides a number of pivot point options. These options are listed in the Pivot Point drop-down box located here on the 3D Editor Viewport header. The default pivot point is called Bounding Box Center. When rotating or scaling an individual mesh object, as opposed to a group of objects, this name is a bit misleading. The pivot point is actually the object's center point, called the origin. As I noted in an earlier video tutorial called Center Point Ob Object Origin, an object's origin is not always located at the center of the object. If you haven't already done so, I suggest that you view the Center Point Object Origin video tutorial that explains how to ensure that an object's origin is located at the center of the object's geometry. To demonstrate the pivot point options, I've placed three monkey objects in my Blender scene. I'm in wireframe display mode, and we're looking at the objects in top orthographic view. I will select this monkey. Note that the Translate Manipulator widget is located at the center point, or the origin, of the monkey's object. Also notice that the current X, Y, and Z rotation in the right 3D Viewport Properties panel indicates zero rotation along the X, Y, and Z axes. Also note that the X, Y, and Z scale is set at 1. Now with the bounding box center point selected, I'll press the R key, or Rotate, and because I'm in top view, the monkey's object rotates around the Z-axis, with the center of the rotation being the object's origin point. Note the Z-axis rotation in the Right Properties panel. I will right-click to escape from the rotation. With the default bounding box center pivot point selected, I'll press the S key, Scale. Note that the object scales along all three axes toward or away from the object's origin. Note the X, Y, and Z axis scale notation in the Right Properties panel. I will again right-click to escape from the scaling. Here I will add the second monkey object to my selection. Note that the Translate Manipulator widget is located at a point equidistant between the two monkey objects' origins. This point in space, when these two objects are selected, is called the Bounding Box Center Point. With the default Bounding Box Center Pivot Point selected, I will press the R key, Rotate, and because I'm in top view, the monkey object rotates around the Z-axis, with the center of the rotation being the Bounding Box Center Point. Note the, C, the Z axis rotation in the Right Properties panel. With the default bounding box center point still selected, I'll press the S key, Scale. Note that the objects scale along the three axes toward or away from the object's bounding box center. Note the X, Y, and Z axis scale notation in the Right Properties panel. Also note in the Location panel that the monkey's objects are changing their location as they scale. Now there's another tool that can affect the rotation or scale of an object. It's called Object Centers Only. This button is located next to the Pivot Points drop-down box on the 3D Editor Viewport header, and by default this button is turned off. Here I will turn on the Object Centers Only button, and with both monkey objects selected, I'll press the R key, Rotation. Note that the monkey objects rotate around the bounding box center point, but they do not rotate about their own origins. In essence, the origin points themselves are being rotated around the bounding box center. Note the changes in the Location panel, but no changes in the Rotation panel. With the Object Centers Only button still on, and the default Bounding Box Center Pivot Point still selected, I'll press the S key, Scale. Note that the monkey's object origin scales toward and away from the Bounding Box Center, but the objects themselves do not scale. In essence, the object's origin points are being scaled towards or away from the Bounding Box Center. 
Now, the combination of selecting one of the various pivot points, along with either turning the object center's only button on or off, plus rotating or scaling either a single object or multiple objects, can result in a confusing array of, of, of options and results. I will turn off the object center's only button. And I'll press the A key to deselect the objects and reselect a single monkey object. I will also click on the Pivot Points drop-down box and select 3D Cursor as my pivot point. Note that the Translate Manipulator widget is now located wherever I place my 3D Cursor. I'll place my 3D Cursor up here and press the R key. Notice that the monkey object rotates around the Z-axis, because I'm in top view, using the 3D Cursor location as its pivot point. Notice in the right side panel the changes in both the object's Z rotation and X and Y location. I'll add a second monkey object to the selection and place my 3D cursor here. Note both monkey objects rotate around the Z axis with the 3D cursor as the pivot point. I'll change the pivot point to Individual Origins. Now when I press the R key, the objects rotate around their individual origin points. Note the difference with two objects selected between Individual Origins as the pivot point and the default bounding box center as the pivot point. I'll change the pivot point to Median Point. Note that the Median Point pivot point is the same as the Bounding Box pivot point. I'll now press the A key to deselect the objects. I'll now reselect one monkey object and hold on my Shift key and add a second monkey object and then add a third monkey object to the selection. Now this final monkey object is called the Active Object. An active object is the last object added to a selection sequence. It is noted in the display by a brighter selection color than the other selected objects. I will now change my pivot point to Active Element. Now the Translate Manipulator widget is located at the origin point of the active object. When I press the R key, all three objects rotate around the Z-axis with the origin point of the active object as its pivot point.